The search is on tonight for a duo accused of stealing a man's identity and racking up credit card bills into the tens of thousands of dollars. A security camera caught them using the credit card at Target stores in Laurel and Largo. Robert Lyles joins us live from Laurel with an update on the search for these two. Robert. McKendis, the investigation is going on in Montgomery County. Now, Montgomery County police are unsure if they've stumbled upon an identity theft ring. They are sure that these particular credit card thieves strike fast and they strike big. So they want you to pay close attention tonight because they say striking this target just put the bullseye on these bandits. Target has superb surveillance cameras. And that's why we're releasing to the public, hoping that someone recognizes these two suspects. The corporate looking duo allegedly likes to strike targets, say Montgomery County Police. First hitting the Laurel store, racking up $7,000 in credit card swipes. Then the next day, accused of heading to Largo, walking out with $1,000 worth of goods on the same hot card. But that was an eyedropper into the ocean, say police. Their grand total? $20,000 in six days. $11,000 alone was charged at the Beautician Design Center in Beltsville, charging enough chairs and supplies to outfit a brand new hair salon. The shop even checked ID, and that's where this caper gets even more interesting. The fictitious DC license had his photograph, but the victim's name on it, so it appeared to be legitimate to the people at the store. The victim, a 23-year-old Silver Spring man, had no idea he'd been robbed of his personal information. Until he receives a bill in the mail and realizes, I didn't open up this credit card card account. That's kind of scary. <laughs> Makes me want to check my purse. I've been a victim of it before. Jason Jones relies on credit card protection, but police say it didn't help the Silver Spring man. Wow. Others have resorted to. I write on the back of my credit card, um, must see ID. But is it working? Very rarely do I get asked. Now, the victim is still trying to dispute those charges. Montgomery County police are asking that you first check your credit statement, then check your credit report. Meantime, they are asking if you recognize that well-dressed duo in tonight's story that you contact crime solvers in Montgomery County. Live in Laurel, I'm Robert Lyles, ABC 7 News. All right.